Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We continue now our deep dive into how the election is going to affect some of the biggest issues in the state. We now go to education and the school funding formula with Vanessa Tyler. Well, Larry, students here have a new name on the books to learn, that of their newest governor, Phil Murphy. When he is sworn in, he pledges to transform education. Going over chapter three. Sections three and four, correct? Yes. 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 The seventh graders in Mr. Green's class at Newark's Science Park High School are super bright. Smarts that are put to the test, the PARC test, which stands for Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. An education measure New Jersey's governor-elect plans to eliminate. Part of me is going, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Newark Schools Superintendent Christopher Cerf appreciates Murphy is focused on education, but would rather he not touch the park test, which is a controversial testing gauge. Cerf says most of the outrage comes from two main groups. One, it comes from the NJEA, uh, who have been very hostile to tests, largely because of a deep concern that they would be used to evaluate how effective uh, teachers are. And it's, uh, the other place it comes from, frankly, are more the, some of the more affluent suburbs, where you saw the most noise, the most resistance to this, were in the, like the Princetons and the Montclairs and so on. It's not the case here in Newark. We had 95% of our students uh, take the park. We use the park for educational purposes. In fact, it is central to our mission to equalize educational uh, opportunity. We want to show that our students are gaining ground on other students in the state. We want to show that our students are, uh, are, are learning as well as their counterparts in more affluent districts. But Governor-elect Murphy says park can and should be replaced. Phil has said eliminating park does not mean that there will not be any sort of testing to make sure that that uh, peer groups are being challenged or being weighed against each other to, to measure progress. But we can do it in a much more efficient and effective uh, manner. Murphy believes the problem with park is the feedback is not fast enough. Luke, currently in the park testing, Schools are losing a week, two weeks in March or April. They're not getting any of the results until the fall of the following school year. So they've already lost the opportunity to figure out what those kids need in that classroom at that moment and have corrective action. What we would like to have are for teachers to have lower stress tests that they can bring in a little more frequently to actually test where their students are and then be able to change their classroom curriculum to meet the needs of their students, not the needs of some test. Murphy has said he would balance the funding formula for education with some of the wealthier districts now overfunded and the poorer ones underfunded. He also plans to emphasize the sciences and technology, something educators embrace as they prepare their students to compete with the world. They are looking forward to what Murphy says he will add to what's already being done. Because we have doubled down on our investments in STEM education. Uh, at our new headquarters, we actually have a students to science lab. It's a four million dollar lab uh, where kids will spend one week of their um, instructional time there uh, working with Novartis, Merck, other uh, key STEM uh, industries where they'll experience real life lab experiences and at the same time, teachers will go through professional development uh, so that they can take those same experiences back to their classrooms. But one of the biggest changes under a Murphy administration is at the higher end of education. Phil Murphy plans to pay for Ray and Bebe's tuition. In fact, every student in the state's community college system could attend tuition free. Oh, if tuition was free here, uh, everybody would come. Everybody would come out of the the woodwork and just get their education. They would come fresh out of high school or adults learning something new. For Ray, he would be that much closer to his criminal justice degree. Community college students, many are young parents working to make ends meet, are squeezing tight budgets for the money to come here. It would mean a lot of stress off of me. <laughs> like, you know, it's hard when you finally get into a career, have to pay back all those loans. So it would be nice. It would 
it would be a game changer, says Essex County's Vice President of Academic Affairs, Jeffrey Lee. The students see it as a barrier because of cost. They feel they couldn't come here because I can't afford it. And community college in New Jersey is one of the best deals education-wise in the country. And so hearing that, oh no, for a student it's free, could be the thing that motivates somebody who's always wanted to do it, but cost was the thing keeping them back. Now they'll actually come and we can work with them. The idea, as Murphy proposes, sure sounds good, but seasoned lawmakers say campaign promises aren't always easy to pull off. And then when he takes office, because, you know, one administration is passing off to the other administration, and there could be financial holes within the state budget. So that's something that needs to be looked at first. And then, but I know he's committed to education because on the school funding thing and also on uh, free tuition for a community college. So hopefully he'll be able to pull it off. If he doesn't pull it off the first year, maybe he'll pull it off the second year. The Murphy administration says they've crunched the numbers and feel free community college can be obtained at about $200 million a year. But we can get there by uh, uh, making sure that the wealthiest in New Jersey who have gotten a, a pretty good ride under Christine and Guadano pay their fair share in taxes. That's about 600 million plus a year. Our state budget is a $35 billion statement of priorities. And if we don't have as one of those first statements being the education of our kids, then we really have to wonder what our priorities are. Under Phil, public education will again be one of the top priorities. As Murphy moves into his new role, education will open a new book in New Jersey. One he pledges will offer a change, access, and wider opportunity. For Jersey Matters, I'm Vanessa Tyler. When we come back, Jersey Matters takes a close look at the state employee pension fund and how the past election affects it. That's when Jersey Matters continues.